to the February edition of this month's experiment from the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego. I'm Caitlin Schindler. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So we want to thank Steve Spangler Science for helping us out with this experiment today. We are going to be making elephant toothpaste. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you everything that you need for this experiment, but remember all of our materials are available on our website at www.rhfleet.org. Okay, so you're gonna need an empty 16 ounce bottle, kind of like this, may have soda in it, a funnel, um, a foil pan like this with about two inches on each side, uh, measuring cup is helpful. We want some warm water, not quite hot, but warm enough mm -hmm. to get this next part activated, which is our yeast, baker's yeast, um, some dish soap, and hydrogen peroxide, and we also have some food coloring, and of course, we're going to want some safety, safety goggles. goggles. Absolutely. For sure. ah, I feel ready for science, don't you? I look ready for science. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is dissolve our yeast right here. We need one teaspoon of yeast. We're going to put it right in there and add two tablespoons of our warm water. Right oh, there. thank so you so much. Oh. All right, and one two and we're just going to give it a little stir until it dissolves okay beautiful all right so now we're going to place the bottle in the center of our pan here all right so we're just, gonna move that just like that and we're going to put the funnel in top of the bottle just like that we're going to measure out a half a cup of the hydrogen peroxide here's our peroxide here is a half a cup. I'm gonna measure that out like that. And put the food coloring into the liquid. There's a couple drops right there. There, there you go. You can kind of see, so we're putting it right in there. Okay. Now what are we doing? Go ahead and pour it right there in the All top. right, perfect. Excellent. All right, now before we add our yeast, let's predict what is going to happen. When we mix water and hydrogen peroxide, that extra oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide is then set free. So, what do you think we might observe when this happens? Uh, giant mass explosions, as usual. Awesome. No. Let's, well, okay. Probably not an explosion. No. But we might see something pretty cool. Okay. So let's try it and find, find out. out. All right. So what are we doing here? Dish let's detergent. Dish add it to the bottle. Into the bottle. How much am I putting in here? A couple drops. Couple drops, all right. I mean, it's really not such a thing as too much. That looks great. All right. All right. Now we're going to put our funnel back in and we are going to pour in our yeast mixture and immediately remove the funnel. Okay. And watch what happens. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Hey! So in addition to our cool reaction that's just happened here, pick up the bottle, hold it, and see uh, how does it feel. Is it warm? It should feel pretty warm. This is actually an exothermic reaction that is happening here. Very cool. So the yeast here is acting as a catalyst, and that's making the molecules on the peroxide release their oxygen Basically but, all over the place, Yes, right? very quickly. As yep. opposed to a slow reaction, we're getting a very fast reaction because we've catalyzed it with our activated yeast here. Right. So that's what makes our foam shoot up out of the bottle. And now... That, and that's what's making it warm, too. Mm -hmm. That's very what's nice. making... We've got an exothermic, means it's uh, creating heat. So if you feel your bottle, it should feel warm. It smells good, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this right here that we used here, this is a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution that you can buy at the grocery store, the pharmacy, that kind of thing. Now, at beauty supply stores, sometimes you can find a 6% hydrogen peroxide solution. Now, what do you think? You think a 6% twice as much hydrogen peroxide? We might get a better reaction out of well, that? Well, I think that would make sense. Twice as much, twice a higher concentrate of uh, per peroxide, that's going to make it maybe twice as big. All right. Well, maybe you guys can try that at home if you find that. Well, thank you, Brandon. And thank you, guys. We look forward to seeing you next month here on This Month's Experiment. And remember, do, do try, try this, this at home. home.